down in the video review for you. This time we're taking a look at the TFCon 2013 uh, convention exclusives. These are uh, Vanguardian and Roswell. Uh, they are homages to Go the GoBots. This is the GoBot Vanguard and GoBot um, Pathfinder. Um, as you can see, they are remold, re repaints, not remold, but repaints of the uh, I Game Mini Warriors Hench and uh, UFO. So they are just basically straight repaints, but the repaints are very, very, very nice. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the original figures to show them off with, but what are you going to do? Um, we'll take a look at one at a time. First, we'll take a look at uh, Vanguardian. As you can see, he is just a little truck. Uh, Vanguardian, Van, Vanguard actually did look similar to him. Uh, the gun is kind of useless. It's the exact same gun as you got with Hench. Uh, the GoBots just kind of shot with their fists. They didn't actually have guns for the most part. But um, what's cool is the M on his chest. Um, on the original Braun figure, it was supposed to be for uh, micro changers. And then the M on, there was an M on Vanguard's chest, which was for Machine Robo. So that's pretty cool. That That's one of the uh, design features that stayed, that, uh, that crossed over, so that's pretty cool. So you just see he's just... You see him all fold them up in there. Fold it up in there. We'll take a look at him in robot mode here in a second. As you can see, he's basically exactly the same as Hench, just uh, more of a bluish gray with the gray windshield. With a well, yeah, a good off whitish windshield all the way around. There we go. Take his gun put that on the side. Put him on the side. Here is Watt Roswell, who's a repaint of UFO. Uh, you can see it's very, kind of very, very deep, dark blue. And it's very, and this is like an off-white, kind of creamy white. Uh, same ports underneath so you can put the laser. He does come with the laser pistol. Or she, I'm sorry, it's a girl. It's a laser pistol. You can, um, it does come with the stand that, that the original Cosmos, the original UFO figure came with. But my original one broke, so I didn't want to mess with it, mess with the new one. So I just left that in the box. So yeah, there is Roswell. Not a lot to say about these guys in uh, in vehicle mode. So we're gonna change. We're gonna transform them in, into uh, into robot mode. So uh, just give me a second here. We've already seen the transform, so I'm not gonna go through that again. So I'll be right back here with uh, both these guys in robot mode. All right. So here they are in their robot modes. Uh, as you can see, again they are very similar. To, uh, to the original figures that they uh, that they repaint of. So again, we'll take a look at them one at a time. Here is Vanguardian. As you can see, he's just a uh, straight repaint. Uh, his head is exactly the same. I'm not gonna flip it around, but if you flip it around, he does have the uh, the battle mask face, and they wrote that into the comic, even though the uh, original character never had that. They just wrote that into the comic because it was part of the figure. He doesn't want to stand up properly right now. I don't know why. So yeah. There he is, you can see like some red details going on in here. Just overall, very cool looking figure. Very nice repaint. Not a whole lot to say. That hasn't already been said with uh, with Hench. But you'll take a look at Roswell. Um, right off the bat, I gotta tell you, um, the original, the first time I, I reviewed this guy, the uh, UFO mold, you know, the original UFO figure, I said that the feet were swapped, and I had to unscrew them and swap the feet around. Turns out I transformed it wrong. Uh, you're supposed to rotate it 180 degrees at the waist, and then rotate them out so that the white parts are facing in, and the blue and the on UFO, the green parts will be facing out, and that makes the feet line up properly. So I'm kind of an idiot sometimes. And the heel on this one, very loose. I don't know why. Anyway, that being said, just remember to rotate the waist 180 degrees and your feet won't be backwards. So here's Roswell. As you can see, do love the head on this guy. Girl, whatever. But yeah, again, just a straight repaint. Very cool colors. Very nice looking figure. Not a whole lot to say that hasn't been said about the original uh, versions of these molds. Yeah, there she is. Give her a gun. 
We'll give him his gun, even though they don't use guns. So I like Batman like that. So yeah, there is one more piece to this set. Um, they did a special repro label set for them. Um, they were available at the convention, and I bought them. And I have to put them on. So I really just wanted, I wanted to make the review first, so you just so you can see what they look like stock before I put the stickers on them. But I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put the stickers on them. Um, shoot the review with the stickers, you know, come back. Uh, show them off with the stickers, you can see what they look like uh, contrastingly. So yeah, here they are stock. And I will be back with how they look uh, all stickered up. Alright, so here we have these guys all stickered up. And as you can see, it does add uh, quite a bit of little details. Um, we'll take a look again one at a time. Here's Van Guardian. As you can see, he does add his uh, his chest, which is accurate to the original figure, which I wish I wish I had to show you right now for this comparison, but I don't. Sorry. Don't got it. So, yeah, but he does have this... Uh, this chest piece kind of detail on the figure, but that's just the sticker. Um, on the that's the only thing in, in uh, robot mode. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the kneecap covers that uh, that Braun came with, that Hench came with. Don't know why they didn't just throw a couple of gray stickers in, but they didn't. So whatever. Uh, it does add the windshield and the glass all the way around. You can see the windshield, the back windshield, and the sides. Uh, it's just blue glass to it. Uh, does add the hood piece, which is accurate to the original figure. Um, the M is more, more, kind of more implied, but that's how it looks on the, uh, on the original guy, so that is cool. That is accurate. And then on the, this is the back of the figure. Did I do that backwards? Crap, I put that on backwards. Hey, it doesn't really matter, does it? No, it doesn't matter because there's no spot for it. But this is the rear of the vehicle. It does add a license plate that says Vanguard. There's one that says TFCon, and there's one that says something else. I don't remember what the other one says. But you can pick which one you want. I chose Vanguard, and then it also add this cool little sticker. I believe it's kind of a... Uh, it's ob it's an obvious reference to uh, the X Files, but there is but it's there because of Roswell, his UFO. So uh, it's a little nod to the other figure, which is pretty cool. I like that; it's neat. But yeah, that's all. Basically, the only thing I really wanted to make sure I had was the uh, the chest, the um, the hood piece to make that more accurate to the uh, to the GoBot and the chest piece. You know, everything else is just little fine details, which is cool. I totally dig it. So yeah, that's <clears throat> Van Guardian. Don't mind my arm, just getting him to stand so he doesn't fall over. Here is Roswell. And as you can see, it has the same chest as the UFO figure. It just adds some like little red chromey details on the chest. Just stick right on right on top of that. Um, again, there's no Autobot or Decepticon logo or anything like that because the GoBots were Renegades. And um, crap, Renegades and uh, I can't remember Alliance or Re uh, Rebels, Rebellion, Rebels. I think we're about Rebels, which always made no sense. Anyway, so you can see again the uh, chest details are exactly the same as the stickers we got with uh, the upgrade to for. Uh, for Cosmos, for UFO, it does add these forearm stickers right here. They look like Japanese meatballs, Japanese uh, flags. Uh, it does add the same lighting details on the insides all the way around. So when it's in UFO mode, you can see this, it just glows all the way around, which is very cool. And then it does also add <coughs> on the top, on the original figure, um, we also got gold stickers for these guys make them pop <coughs> <coughs> wow I cannot speak today um they had they had gold stickers on here but doesn't matter um doesn't matter they're not on here so there's no stickers on these kind of wish they would have like 
made these. I guess it matches the color, right? It doesn't really, doesn't really matter, but you don't get stickers for those. Um, on either side, one set, you can put, there's another one that says TFCon, I think. So you got Pathfinder and Roswell. So that goes on either side in uh, vehicle mode. Just goes on, I'll just do that real quick, just so you can see where it goes. I'm going to partly transform her. So you can see that's how it would look in vehicle mode, just on the sides there. Again, little touches. Um, the biggest part of this, the biggest touch to this, you know, that I always liked was the glowing bits on around the sides. It makes it look very cool. It looks like it's actually flying. Which is a nice little touch. Again, no Autobot or anything. Logos because the GoBots didn't really have logos, they didn't have uh, badges or anything. So yeah, there is Roswell. Give her her gun, which she doesn't need, because they all shoot from their fists. But the gun is awesome, and all the same, so it stays. Okay, there is Roswell. Here is Vanguardian, and that is how they look all stickered up. So yeah, if you do, if you were at TFCon, or you knew somebody that went and picked up these figures for you, um, I think the set was six bucks. You know, obviously worth it just to give you fig, just even for just the fine details on the chest and the the light up around the side and the uh, the chest and the hood on him. I think make it worth the six bucks. I mean, six bucks. Come on. But yeah, these guys uh, were only available at TFCon 2013. Uh, if you do want to get your hands on them, I know TF Source has a small batch, and they are up charging them uh, 20 bucks a figure. Um, they originally four, uh, 50 a figure. They're charging 70, which isn't bad if you're you know if you weren't there. But again, uh, if you were at the if you were at the con or you do did you did get your hands on these guys or you do in the future, um, you know you should really pick up the stickers. Uh, if you do like the GoBots, or if you just even if you just dig the aesthetics on these guys, they are very cool. They are very nice little repaints of uh, of the Igear Mini Warriors. But yeah, this has been the video review for TFCon 2013 uh, convention exclusives: GoBit Vanguard and GoBit Roswell.